Hello everybody and welcome to the video notes for Unit 4, Day 20. Today we are continuing practicing writing expressions and today we're going to be working with variables. So this first part you should have completed most of it on your own and now we're just going to check in to fill in anything that you might have missed. For this first column, addition, where we're adding a plus b, we can say that as a plus b we can say it as the sum of a and b. You can say it as b more than a. So b more than a. Or you can say it as a increased by b. Those are all the same way of saying this expression right here. For this subtraction one, we can say that this is a minus b, or the difference of a and b. We can say that this is b subtracted from a, And we can also say that it's b less than a. For this multiplication one, remember that these are all the same thing, right? With this multiplication symbol or the little dot, that also means multiplying. a, b is the same thing as a times b. And if you have it in parentheses next to a number or variable, that's the same thing as those two things being multiplied. So this we can say as a times b. We can say it as the product of a and b. And you can also say it as a multiplied with b. onto division. If you remember yesterday's lesson, a divided by b is the same thing as, as a fraction. a is the numerator, b is the denominator. Those are equal to each other. So this can be said as a divided by b. Or we can say it as the quotient Let's underline quotient there. The quotient of a and b. And then the last one, exponents. This we say as a to the second power. Or we can also say a squared. It's the same thing as a to the second power. So those are with exponents. So one, two, three, four, five. If you got at least five of those phrases, five gold stars for you. And now what we're going to do is we're going to put all of this together and start translating some mathematical variables, numbers, and operations into words. So here we have a minus b. So we can say this as the difference of a and b. Or if you write it as a minus b, that's acceptable too. And what I'm going to have you do now is b, c, and d, those three. This one, this one, and this one. Go ahead and try to write out those on your own first. So I'm going to have you pause and try those three. And then we'll check in once you're done. So pause, those three, go.
All right, now let's check our work. We're multiplying here. This x and y are being multiplied together, so we can say that this is the product of x and y. Or if you wrote x times y, that's acceptable too. For this one, we have the product of 4 and f, so 4 times f, and then plus p. So we can say the product of 4 and f, then plus p. And for this last one, we're doing it's subtracting, so we have the difference. So the difference of d and b to the third power. So the difference of d and b to the third power. Or you can say d minus b to the third power. OK, now we're going to take a look at E, because E is a little bit trickier. So let's break this down. First, we have 5 on the outside of this parentheses, which means it's 5 times everything inside the parentheses. And remember, whenever you see parentheses, you can always think the word quantity. Quantity and parentheses. Always think about those two together. So here we have. 5 times the quantity of u minus 10 all right so that's all of this right here 5 times the quantity of u minus 10 and then after we do that, we're adding h. So I'll say 5 times the quantity of u minus 10, then add h, because we add h at the very end. Okay, now that I've shown you that example, I want you to try f and g on your own. So I'm going to have you pause. And try f and g on your own. And now you can resume the video after you've done those two on your own. I'm actually not going to provide you with those two answers because I want you to write it out and I can check your work when you're done. The last thing that I want to show you is this example on the bottom, because this is what you're going to do on your daily task. So we'll do one example together. It says to circle all the vocabulary words that could be used to describe this expression right here. So here we have 6h minus 10. So 6h, remember, that's 6 times h. So we have some multiplication. And then minus 10. So addition. Do we have any addition going on in this expression? No, we do not, so I can cross that out. Subtraction. Do we have any subtraction happening here? Yep, there's a minus sign right there, so there is subtraction. Multiplication. Now, there's no multiplication sign, but if you remember, 6h is the same thing as 6 times h, which is multiplication. So we do have multiplication in this expression. Do we have any division? I don't see any division signs. I don't see any fraction bars. There's no division. Okay, So that's how you do these kind of problems. You'll do that as part of your daily task today. And so when you're all finished, you can raise your hand, get your work checked by your teacher. The secret word today is rope, R-O-P-E, like you're hanging on a rope. That's the secret word. And with that,